Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm playing with the Whistle Stop mod and we have a very, very big factory going on, which uh, spans quite the continent here. Look at this, all this stuff over here. First of all, I would like to give a big shout out, an appreciative one, certainly to Eric Hopper, who changed <laughs> changed the to-do list to read a quest log instead of to-do list. I love this. So quests... They put the MMO in Factorio. Never mind that Factorio has no M's in it. It has an O and that's enough for us. I know, I love this. This is so cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> and next time we record Darkstar, I will try to convince my uh, compatriots to also use the quest log thing. This is good. Uh, anyway, first thing on our list, as you see, is the train jam unjammment. Um, I'm at the base, the main base, where we have our stuff, uh, the, the bus and the, the mall and all that. I'm going to send this train on to point A for now. So let's just send it over there because I walk faster than uh, than the train can go. So we'll go right down there and then we're going to look at the train thing. And I saw from the radar that the issue is not a signaling issue per se. Uh, where are they? There they are. It's a signal not placed down. <laughs> This is the bad thing, because what's happening is that this is the same block. Can I do this? Ah, yes, you can see. So these two are in the same block because this signal is not there to break it up. So as soon as we walk over there, and we're going to walk very carefully because I don't want to get run over. But as soon as we, we go there and the robots place this signal, it should unjam immediately. Here we are, getting close. Boom, there it goes. Yep. So that was just a mistake in uh, in blueprinting and robots placing stuff. Um, let's see. These guys, were, I guess, were ahead of this one. Is that going to go? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, I didn't stop any of them. So there we go. So that actually does work. There wasn't any, uh, any weirdness. It's just we must not have had enough signals at the time. Now, there's another issue that um, somebody kindly pointed out to me which I am also very thankful for. We have a slight, slight issue with uh, pipes. Let's just click this. We'll do the accept the oil outpost. All right, our next quest to finish the oil outpost. Yes. We're just going to walk over there. It's much faster than taking the train, interestingly enough. And we could even bump the speed up to something faster if we wanted to. Okay, we're still, still a ways away. I wonder if I should put signs for myself here. Maybe I should. That actually sounds like a good idea. Like, for example, that for the oil field, let's see, down here, let's go back a little bit. Let's see. If I want to go for oil, it's right down here. So if I use, do I have any concrete? Ugh. No, of course not. Of course I don't. Should be fine, though. All right, what if we did? Train lines, though, are very not easy to see um I could do chests Ooh. i was thinking more along the lines of concrete or something like this but if i did like a chest line oh they don't even show up on the mini map that's not good they just show up here i was hoping for something that shows up on the mini map but anyway we'll 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 work on that we'll we'll get that going maybe i should get that do i have the text plates mod in this no i think we have it in dark star but i don't see it here we need concrete or something. We need stuff. All right, let's let's just put that on our quest log. Add quest. Make signs with concrete stone. Okay, that works for me. Save. Okay, and for now, let's just go down here and get our oil outpost starting to get going. Um, I'm not sure where my train went. Where is it? This is A. Where did the train go? Did I have another A? Oh dear. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I forgot about this train stop A. Oh dear. Um, can I, I can X this out actually. I can use my deconstruction planner so it will not be valid, I think. Oopsies. No, no, no. I meant to Q and I hit escape uh, accidentally. All right, let's click this. Go to A, please. Oh dear. Um, go to the base. Then go to A, please. Now, I I wonder if that's going to work. Is that going to still count as A? I don't know. Let's see. I'm not quite sure. Because if it does, it might go around this loop and come back to A. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not supposed to happen. Uh, okay. All right. We had, we had an issue here <clears throat> caused by my lack of planning. I forgot to take up that train stop called a, and now we have a little bit of a jam. I do not want the other train to go yet. This is kind of important. So, all right, let's grab the train and uh, bring it along with us. Okay, train. Uh, or even better yet, I guess we could grab this train. Right, take you. Oh, okay. This is a uh, solid fuel refinery drop off. Let's just take it round and have it go around again. There we go. That one will go back to A, and this one will just stay here for now. I could actually take this with us, and that wouldn't be too bad either. Because it is going to need to go to the oil area anyway. Yeah, why not? We'll take it with us. And uh, we'll just have a little practice run with this guy. It'll be fine. All right, here we go. This is so cool having these, like, really massive rail networks. I mean, lots of tracks intersecting. It's kind of neat. All right, I don't see the other train anywhere near on the map. Okay, you cannot zoom into the map. That, that would be a nice feature, actually, to have the mini-map zoomable. Okay, we are coming up on it. Ah, there's our building train. Excellent. All right, I'm going to leave this train here for now. doesn't need to be too near. I'm not quite sure where we'll have the entrance and exit to this thing. Oh, um, but before we get to that, I have completely forgotten about the... I didn't forget. Obviously, I just remembered about it. But we have an issue. This is the issue I was talking about that somebody reminded me of. Uh, and it is that <laughs> I followed the pipes back and uh, we have uh, light oil and petroleum confused. So we have petroleum going on this to the left pipe over here, which ends up being the top pipe there. Oh, and I think I even saved this on the map. Yes, slight mix-up. Um, right, so petroleum is going here, but down here is light oil. So this petroleum should be going there, and the light oil should be going down. So we need to fix this real quick. Um, let's just do this. It's It'll be fine. So you are going to get one of these and do that. There we go. That's very simple. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, you can do something like this instead. There we go. How many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. This is just, that's too many. It's too many pieces. Do I not have any of these? Okay, I need more pumps. Come on, world. Give me. There we go. It's kind of crazy. It's probably at the limit, but I want to be a little bit within the limit. Okay, so this is now fixed. Thank you very much, uh, YouTube uh, commenters. And I forgot who it was. I think it was there were a couple of people who mentioned it. And I am very terrible with remembering people's names. So, but anyway, much appreciation. Thank you very much for this. Uh, this should now work perfectly. So I'll just delete this. We don't need that anymore because we are not mixed up any longer. We are fine. Um, okay, let's move onward to the oil outpost. Oh my god. <laughs> Guess what's going to happen at the end of this episode? <laughs> Thrill is going to happen. Life is going to get better. Oh yes. Looks like I need some more tanks. Let me get some from the train. I think they should be here. Not quite sure what we need in this area. There we go. There's our tanks. Good. Okay. Looks like everything else is organized. Um, we probably want to get stuff, uh, covered with electricity. That would be a nice thing. I want to take, first of all, to get these power poles up to the main line. So we need to get things going. And we'll get another power pole there. Oh, I love squeak through. Right, I think all of this is powered or is, um, whatchamacallit, I think it's all, uh, uh, oh dear, my brain is not working. Connected is the word I was looking for. 
There we go. Get these guys going. And maybe a... It's hard to tell if I should use substations or... Okay, nice. Excellent. Man, I remember the sound of pump jacks. I used to live in West Texas and it has a, they have a very distinctive sound like this ish, except they're very kind of more loud and they have this uh, sort of buzzing motor sound as well. Oh, this is looking good. Oh yeah. Oops. These are not connected. Okay. So we'll use uh, long distance poles where we can because they're much cheaper than substations uh, if we can afford to to do that. Oh yeah, that's that's we need that there. Need something to connect them. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was uh, pretty pretty fast. All right, oil is now flowing in like crazy. Why is this one not getting... Oh, it's because of this. Okay, so I guess these guys will... Sh they should share uh, if these are filled up. So these pipes in between will share, but these guys are just not filled yet. Man, they seem like they're going a bit slow, don't they? Um, I kind of wonder if I should put the speed modules in these guys or not. That gives it plus 100%. I really don't want to beacon this whole area, <laughs> but I might have to. Oh dear. Because some air, some some pumps would definitely benefit. Like they're in these lovely clusters. So, but that's going to take a lot of micromanagement. Oh, you know, when I was doing it, when we didn't have much of a choice, I, I did it and it was fine. But now it's like, oh no, <laughs> we suffer onward here. I want to grab maybe like... 200 when we go back to the base yeah i think that's good but these guys are doing well okay it'll be fine it'll it'll be really good anyway i think that these trains are quite long there are one one two three four five six cars long i'm wondering if i should just do a little bit of a swirly squirrely uh parking lot just like this and just kind of take it around so so that we can have several trains waiting if we want to. That's a little bit too long, I think. I don't know how many, is that the right one? No, it's still too long. Just copy this whole thing here. I can't tell. Okay, here, this is easier. There, there we go. All right, so I think that might be an okay way of having a parking lot since we have so much space here. It's really not necessary to have, you know, all these parallel uh, thingy majingies. Or, yeah, I think this would be fine. All right, and let's have the output or exit from this as well. Just make sure we know where that's going to be. So we do our output because the output should be uh slightly offset from the input so okay there's the out the input should be here where is it rails in there we go at the very least i would say we can put it close they, they can go like this just in case but um there we go um you can hear my my cat is meowing very very well uh, her meower is fully functioning <laughs> I don't know what she's on about, to be honest. I have no idea. But um, anyway, she's in a mood today. Yes, my Lenora. How's the world today? Oh my God. She looked at me and then started scratching her ear. Uh, she gave me this look like, hello, do you not understand what I'm trying to tell you? This is important business. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to take the new oil train down here. And we're going to 
measure it. We're going to measure sort of backward the parking spaces because unfortunately, you know what? I wish that was, maybe that would be a good thing for the configuration thing. Um, maybe the devs would add this uh, to have configurable um, car length estimators. Um, I know that they're talking about the latest FFF. They were talking about a UI thing, which would allow people to customize stuff. And I think that was a really awesome idea. Um, but what if they, what if we could customize this as well and say, okay, I have trains that are 10, 10 pieces long. Can you customize it for that, please? Um, and I could choose how many cars I want to, uh, to add here. Cause this is, this is not ideal. This whole thing here. I think this is probably enough space. I'm not exactly sure. I hope it is. All right. So if we go here. That's probably where it's going to stand. Let's go back and get another signal here. I really don't know how many trains I'm going to have, but we shall see. Okay, let's see about the next one. We could even make this train parking lot a little bit smaller. I kind of overdid it a bit. I was inspired by uh, some of Caladorn's um, parking lots they're they're quite simple like this and you don't need any blueprints for them and they're they're just really easy to to deal with so we have let's see that's one one two three four trains already in this i think that's enough actually i think four trains is probably too many uh to be honest i think we can just get this whole thing out of here take this out Nanobots, thank you. And then we're going to just take off this thing and add it this way. Come on. Hello. Rotate. There we go. Thank you. Good. Just grab this that way. Nice. Okay. And we'll take this one. Where is that other signal? I can't see it. Must be around here though. Ish. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. And we'll just do another signal here. And this way, you really don't have to do a massive parking lot or anything like that. You just have this very nice uh, slight curve here. You can have it more wavy if you like. Um, but yeah, there it is. Okay, and then we'll have this one here. Another signal at the end. Good. Perfect. And this way you also get first in first out so that trains will um, go in the order you tell them to. Now let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. We have completely filled up all of these um, storage tanks. So this is a good thing. All right. Now then uh, we do want to get radars out here. I have completely um, ignored the radar thing. So let's just add one maybe in the middle here. Maybe not in the middle there. Um, let's add one out here. And the reason I'm adding it out here is I was just thinking about the beacons again. And if we wanted to add beacons, um, it's easier to add them when there's not a radar in the way, <laughs> for example. Okay, I think we'll add this there. Okay, that's settled. Um, looks like we just need one more on the line. So I want to take off a, now that we remember to do this, <clears throat> yes, <laughs> dear me, dear me, it'll be fine. It'll be really good. And I think I'm going to leave the building train right there, right before the signal. So it doesn't block anything. Uh, and let's see, do we want to put a chain signal here? Mm, no, I think that one's good enough for that one, but this one needs a chain signal. And this also needs to be completely, this had to be figured out because if the tr train could stop in the middle and it was still block this thing, it's better if it stops there. Um, let's see this one, because this is so tight here, I'm going to make this one also a chain signal until it uh, passes this, these guys over here. I think that's better. Uh, all right. So now the moment of truth, uh, we're going to set up our stations. Did I add? No. Oh dear. All right. Let's go. Let's take the train. I'll get off over here. 
And we're going to change the name of this train station. So we're going to call this oil something. What do we want to call it? We'll call it oil three SF. Oopsie. Thank you. Autosave uh, pickup. Okay, good. That works for me. Uh, color black as night. Black is crude oil. Yes. Uh, oh, I forgot to add that. All right, let's go over there and add that. Since I'll forget otherwise. I wanted to have this nice presentation thing where we're all doing stuff. It's going to be fine. Okay, there we go. Now we're fine. Did I name the other station as well? I want to see this so work so badly. Um, okay, solid fuel refinery. That's where we want to go. So let's go back to our walking speed and we're going to plan the schedule. So you're going to go to solid fuel refinery, oil drop off. Okay, inventory empty. I want to do this first so I kind of know what the train is doing, but we're actually going to go to the oil pickup first. So oil, solid fuel, thingy manjingy. Um, inventory full. Okay, and that's what we want, right? Good, go. All right, it's nighttime. It is a fitting time to pick up the black gold. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's just make sure the whole thing fits. Okay, the train fits very easily there. We're a little bit um, off on the uh, cargo thingy machines. Oh, there it goes. Okay, train's moving. Oh, yes, we don't have lights here. <laughs> I forgot one thing. Oh, dear. But it's fine. I just want to see the whole process work. This is so exciting. Yay. Oh, I love this. I love this moment. Like you spend so much time building up all of the stations and the factories and get the assembly machines and all this stuff working in the belts. And there's nothing there and there's this quiet stillness before the first initial products get delivered and that's what we're doing right now and then the whole thing starts just buzzing and coming to life oh yes we're almost there we're almost buzzing and coming to life this is good okay we're almost there yay <laughs> okay okay we're here we're here yay Oh, nice. Wow. It is going like crazy. The pumps are working. Let's go down here first and see the heavy oil stuff going. Hello, are you working? Yes, you are. You're making stuff. You are making a light oil. Wow. And it is going like crazy. Nice. Yep. Looks like this is um, limited mostly by... Oh, by heavy or by light oil coming out, I think. Wow, we, we may have uh, other things going on then. Let's see over here. I'm going to go to the next um, station. Okay, this guy, this is just taking a long time to process the light oil into solid fuel. So we may have to come up with maybe getting another pipe because I think the pipes might be, no, well, it might be full on the light oil. I don't know. Let's see, how is it going over here? We have petroleum flowing like crazy. You can see how fast it's going. Wow. Yeah, these are totally full. The light oil is very full. Let's see about the petroleum. We might need a different um, thing for this. Hmm. I wonder if I have any uh, modules in the in the train. So this is, this is going along. We have not, well, we almost have enough here. Actually, we can, uh, let's just ride on this train because we'll get there. Wow. It's doing well. Okay. Now we're running out of petroleum a bit. So are we not getting enough? 1.2 K. Oh, a lot of it went to this one. Why is that? That's very strange to me that it prioritized these two cars instead of getting most off of here. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just see the process work anyway. We'll go and fix the things in the middle in a second. All right. Solid fuel drop off. Let's go. We just want to see the whole process complete here. I wonder if we ran out of oil. I wonder if that's the issue right now that we're not getting any more petroleum. Wow, look at these blinking in and out here. Jeez. Okay, and here we're getting rocket fuel. Boom. Yes, we're getting all the rocket fuel happening now. 
Okay, very nice. Yeah, we're actually quite backed up here on the rocket fuel. Um, getting plenty in. So this is at full-ish beaconage. We Well, no, not really. We could actually use some more beacons. I think it was a mistake to, to take these out now. So let's just do that. Let's take put them back in. I need my train, actually. I need... Um, let's get... You know what? I'll put A over here. Because uh, there's no trains coming this way anyway. So this is going to be A. Okay. And... Oh, trains with the stop. Yes. Go to A, please. Thank you. Come along. <clears throat> but apparently, I do need to put in more beacons. This is uh, most interesting. Let's get this here. One, two, and three. Oh, and I didn't get the modules in because I used nanobots. Darn it. I could finagle this one as well. I could do this and add in the beacon there. Hey there. Do you have any modules for us? Maybe? Possibly? Hello? Maybe not. Oh, yes, you do. Most excellent. This is good. All right, go to the base, please. Um... And come back later. Okay, we're going to put down this as well. And then we'll just click these squares off. I wish that nanobots would put in the speed modules afterward. Uh, that would be nice if they came into range. So now we're out of solid fuel. This is our next problem. We have some amount of rocket fuel. Not a whole bunch, but some. Uh, what are we... Let's find out our holdup with these other things. Looks like there's no oil whatsoever in here. This train is... <laughs> it stopped. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to do something quite dangerous here. I'm going to grab a thing of rocket fuel. And... Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to connect the solid fuel back up. No, it didn't. No, no, no. We had these things here. So why did they not deliver solid fuel into this train? Hmm? I don't know why. That's really strange. Let's put one thing of rocket fuel in here. Fuel. Because I only want to use one piece. Alright, let's go back. I want to see this route again. And just make sure that we can do this. I also want to make a, another couple of trains here with this too. But yeah, we need... Uh, so this rocket fuel is going to last quite a while. But I wonder if there's just not enough fuel or something. I'm not quite sure. Okay, that was a really fast fill up. 150,000 oil in this thing. So we have... Speed goes up. Uh, of course, the most important thing for these guys is that we have um, the acceleration on these big long trains like this. Yeah, they go up to 298 kilometers an hour, which is not too bad. Okay, let's see what's going on with the fueling. Yeah, it is going. It is going. I don't know why it didn't last time. Maybe it just, oh, you know what? It might have not had any. Not quite sure. That's really strange. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put three stacks there just to have enough and put a stack inserter. Now this thing, right, we have a light oil glutting the system. This is not good. We not we probably need more processing. Um, let's go there then. Let's go see. Oh, oh, this is why. Look, oh dear. No. <laughs> there are no thingy majingies here at all. There are no speed modules. So this guy is just going very slowly. Okay, let's just put them in. There we go. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> now that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, and... Yeah, the tanks are 
Looks like they might be going down or might be staying. Now they are. They're going down now. That's good. Okay, so I think we might have a solution here. The only thing is, are the pipes enough? Because we're getting some from the heavy oil cracking. Um, so I'm not sure if these are sufficient. I hope so. Yeah, these are full right here. This is not great. I think what we'll do is something else here. Let's just let's just fix this whole situation. I think we need more than just that one. I think we need this one to be backward a little bit. Oh, this can be there. Whoops. I'm just like not not working with the brain modules today. Let's just copy this. Yep, good. This is a very haphazard way to do this, I apologize. It's just kind of a lazy way. Um, let's go just copy this all the way out. Need our power poles. Okay, and ah, there we go. Very nice. All right, so now we need to get this thing. How do we want to take this upward? Let's just figure that out first. I think it's okay there. Um, we can actually start it here or even here possibly to fill this tank. Um, then we can just copy this stuff wholesale, really. Thank you. There we are. Okay. I think this probably is going to be okay if we do this. And now we have nothing. Why do we have nothing? Hello? <laughs> I'm now worried. Oh yes, there we go. We have this thing unpowered. That will help. Okay, and this one is, I guess, completely empty? Is that? How can that be? Probably because is this empty? Yes. Okay, so we're we're using stuff. Okay, now we're getting it. And now we have too much heavy oil coming out. Let us also check for production problems down there. Let's just see. Yep, we have issues here. We have one. Okay, we have a few beacons that have not gotten their thing. I really should clear these things. I didn't realize that um, it would just cause so much inability to see stuff. Okay, now we're having issues with light oil going out. Hmm. Kind of makes me wonder if I should just do tank cars and have a, a bit of a railroad from there to there. That might be useful. I don't know. Wow. Oh, this would help also. <laughs> we may not have issues at all. <clears throat> yes. Um, <laughs> so dumb. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, solid fuel, SF drop off. That's what we need. Let's see, solid fuel. SF drop off light oil. Yes, inventory empty. Okay, let's take the train. Uh, yep, these guys have 2k of solid fuel in each of them. 
These guys are not full yet, I don't think. Okay, so this is this is processing quite nicely. It looks like we have plenty enough belts to fill this thing completely anyway. Quickly, quickly, through the uh, through the loaders. So that's not an issue at all. We might even need, if we get this thing running continuously, we might need a um, another assembler for this. I'm still thinking maybe we need another assembler for these if um, we still have issues with stuff. But I think once we pick up stuff, there we go. We're filling up the train. There it goes. Okay, now this is catching up. And these should be going down eventually. Okay, those are fine. Wow, we have lots and lots of solid fuel now. But I think this should work. I don't know, I, I'm getting... I think we should definitely get this working. Of course, there is a possibility, too, of cracking some of the light oil to petroleum if we want to sort of balance the load. But I'm wondering if it's just better to get a second assembler here. Oh, yes, and these, uh, these things need to go away. Darn it. I forgot to put lights around the place as well. So that we have uh, visibility in the dark. So it's kind of funky when there's there's no lights anywhere. It's not as welcoming and, and inviting, that's for sure. There we go. But it is processing like crazy. And of course, all of this is getting the productivity bonus, which is quite nice. In any case, I think that we probably have enough um rocket fuel for a while let's see we have uh, wow hundreds and hundreds of pieces here definitely enough to build a single rocket but uh i think yeah i think that's good i think that's a good thing do we have lighting over here yes do we have lighting at the heavy oil plant no okay let's put down some lights so that they'll get put down next time we go over there Okay. Okay, now we have stuff done. This was a bit anticlimactic, I have to say, but still, we, we did get quite a lot of stuff done. The next part, of course, is going to be having um, other stuff done. What do we need for rocket parts? We need light, um, the light structures, low density structures, and we need rocket control units. So for these, I'm guessing probably we want two assemblers close together, one to make processing units, one to make speed modules. And then this is just one assembler taking in materials from the other factories that are making stuff. So let's figure out where do we want our rocket to be. And I wonder, you know what? I should probably make another train for the oil. Okay, here we go. Oh, hold on. Go to manual mode. I want to get another one of these trains. Though we appear to be having a bit of a glut here. Oh, that's probably because we have... No, it's it's light oil problems. It's just not going fast enough. And they do all have the modules in. I just didn't remove these uh, tags here. But yeah, we're just totally full on light oil. Huh... <laughs> this is so interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I should get a train and take partial oil down to here. That might be an idea. We could even share this train line and have like, um, you know, branch off of here going down this way uh, to go there. I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's see if this is a problem in the future. That's the best way to figure it out. Okay, now we want to figure out where we want to have our uh, rocket being made. So this is an interesting peninsula over here. This is very funky. I kind of am liking this area maybe. But if we want to have a whole bunch of rockets, we might want to choose sort of an open space, maybe like this space here, maybe between these two assemblers, like right there. Um... Yeah, we could. And then have rocket parts made kind of around here. I think that's fine. I think we can just even go over the top of these minuscule um, patches <clears throat> of ore. <laughs> let's just do that then. Um, but for now, let's just say this as rocket site. Rocket site. 
All right, confirm. We'll put in our thingy and I've just noticed the time and it is quite, we're quite over time. So that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.